I'm going to give you the history on Shopify, but before I do, it makes sense to understand where we are in the life cycle of e-commerce platforms. So right now in our community, we have three big new shopping cart platforms. We have Shopify, BigCommerce, and Volusion. And they've kind of emerged after the legacy era of shopping carts. Now, I kind of look at it the same way that the electrical grid in the United States is not quite as good as the electrical grid in Asia because they got to see us build our electrical grid and then they built theirs from there. So they got to look at all the problems we were having and then build their grid with all those problems in mind. When I started in e-commerce, there were only legacy platforms. It was Yahoo and there was Magento and there was Xcart and there was ShopSite and there was like these, these platforms that, that are not quite as good as the platforms that we have today for a number of reasons. But what happened, the way Shopify came into existence is, is the, the initial developer, the initial coder, the, the owner, one of the owners of Shopify, was looking at these platforms for his own e-commerce business and he didn't he found them lacking so he built Shopify out of that he built this platform based on his own needs as an e-commerce merchant now the cool thing about Shopify as i mentioned is that their focus is on making sure that they have the best product out there so they understand that they're not the best at email marketing like a weber is better than Shopify at email marketing. So Shopify doesn't try to build that into their tool. They don't try to build that into their system. They just have an open third-party app network where you can layer on all these kinds of things, email marketing and live chat and follow-ups. They have a really wide open third-party app network and things plug easily into Shop Shopify. They also have, in my opinion, the best pre-done theme network. So if you want to start an e-commerce business and you want a pre-done, pre-designed, high-level e-commerce theme, Shopify has the best uh, platform or the best marketplace for those themes. So I flew up here to shoot some video for Shopify's e-commerce university, which is their, their way of providing educational content for e-commerce merchants that use Shopify. And I'm getting a chance to look behind the scenes at their company culture, at how they treat each other, at how they work together, at their platform in a way that I've never, that I wouldn't have a chance to just by logging in and playing around with it. Like I'm getting to look behind the scenes at what they're actually up to and what they have coming down the pipe. And I can tell you that I'm very, very, very impressed with Shopify. So I want to take you now behind the scenes, show you a little bit of their headquarters, show you some of the cool things that are, that are going on here and um, just give you a look into what's going on in this really cool e-commerce company in our community. I think this is fun to have a look at the companies in our community that are doing innovative and cool things and, and when their goal is to support us. They want to come up with the best possible uh, product for e-commerce merchants. They want to have the best product so that we have the best experience and have the best chance of being successful with our e-commerce businesses. So let's go now and have a look at the Shopify headquarters. So I'm at the first stop. We're going to do multiple stops around Shopify because the way they have this done is they've got the second floor and the third floor now of a building here in the downtown marketplace. By the way, I'm in New York City. I had no idea how close Ottawa was and how cool it is here. But they've got the second and third floor of this building and they have it broken up into this circle where it's like a center in the middle and then you go around this circle and there's all these different meeting rooms. And we're at the, the first stop away from the video studio where we just were shooting that intro. And it, this is a sleeping room. This is, a, this is a sleeping room. I think they even hire massage therapists to come in and like give their employees massages. And what's cool about a company like this, you can tell a lot about a company when you look at how they treat their employees, about how they, how they are to the people who work for them. And one of the interesting things I think about Shopify is that they're not super focused on you must work nine to five, you must work X number of hours. What they're focused on is if you're an employee here, if you work with this company, from what I gather and from what I've been told is it's more about can you get your job done and this is how I run my business as well this is how I run my employees is I don't care how long it takes you I don't care how you do it or when you do it just that this is the goal we want to accomplish and are you going to be able to get there before our deadline so they've got cool stuff like a nap room like maybe you're having a tough day and you need to take a little 15 minute power nap they've got a place to do that and I think that's really cool so this is the nap room now we'll move on I think our next stop is going to be into the in the lunch room and there may people may even be people eating lunch I think I hear them so let's head on over there <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> that didn't go quite as planned, but they have a slide. This, this is, they have a slide in this, we're in their lounge right now where the lunch is over here and uh, they've got a slide up there. It, it took a lot, to, from what I've heard, it took a lot to get this slide put in 
Uh, there's all kinds of zoning issues when you're going to have a slide in a business, um, but they've got a slide in their lunchroom. So when you're having lunch, if you want to go play, and I think that's I think the point here is that they have some focus on play. Play is such an important part of putting together a good work environment, allowing people to play with each other and, and having you know, some level of fun. And I just ate, I just ate it on that slide. And I would, I mean, I'm not gonna cut that out, but that was not, I was not intending to fall down like that. But let's take a look at this, at this um, lunchroom that they're in. I wanna show you the lunch. They do catered lunch every single day. Check this out. I, I'm a fan of sushi. So every day, if you work at Shopify, you come in, they've got fresh lunch for you, made hot all kinds of fancy stuff. And what's, what's cool about this is I'm a vegan, right? I'm a vegetarian. I, I mean, I think any diet is awesome. I choose to eat vegetarian. I've not, been, I've been here two days now. There's, there's been vegetarian food, so they're catering to everyone. Sushi, it's pretty fancy. Um, I'm just gonna grab a piece, avocado sushi. Now what else is cool is that they don't waste this food. At the end of the day, they'll pack it all up and they'll put it in this fridge over here and you can take it home. So you can have lunch made for you, hot and fresh every day, and then you have dinner catered for you. So the other, the other thing that I think is interesting is if we look around this lounge, and I don't know if we'll be able to pan to that shot, is they have multiple little spaces where you can hang out. So if you, if like, let's say you're, you're working really hard on a lunch meeting, you want to move and have your pod eat lunch together and work together. It's not just like a big open cafeteria space. They've got it really well laid out. So whoever designed this place was really smart and was thinking about the company culture and was thinking about people being able to eat and work together. Cause you know, when you send people out for lunch, they, it's kind of smart. They just like de detach from work. But if you have lunch catered in, if you build that environment in here, it actually ends up being more productive and more fun for the folks in your company. So something to think about in your company, you may want to feed your employees lunch. Okay, so this is the lounge, the hangout area. Let's move on over into the offices. One thing I didn't mention is that they have a video game system up in the corner of that room, so more focus on play. And I think the, the and if you look at what Google does, if you look at some, what some of these other big companies do, they have a lot of focus on play. And I think that's an interesting thing to think about as a business owner, as, as someone who spends a lot of time working, right? We're business owners and we spend time working, we spend time with our teams. And it's interesting to think about how we can include more elements of play into that and fun into our work life. Let's move around the office now and we'll check out sort of the different departments. So another thing that they have is skateboards to get around this office. Now I'm not the best skateboarder, but let's say you wanna, you know, move from design to development. Well, you got a board that you can do that on. And as we go through, I'm gonna crash this thing. <laughs> as we go through, what you're not seeing is that on the left and right, so it's a circle, right? And they've got these little pods, these little groups of people. So if we look in here, this is a group of people working on something. This is one pod, one group working on one specific task. And if we move around the building, there's more pods just like that. So it's kind of a pretty cool little setup where you, you've got privacy, yet everything is open. You can access any part of the company, but you have your own private workspaces where you can really focus on, let's say, uh, development or design or the partner program or customer service, like these different because your company has the same thing, right? It's got, you've got your customer service department, you've got your sales and marketing department. You have these different levels and these different parts of your company where people are focusing on different things or maybe where you're focusing on different things. And so kind of brilliant how they have it set up where everything is open, yet you've got access, you know, you can really focus on one specific task. I think it's a cool setup. So let's, let's head on, um, I think we're gonna head up and see what's going on up on the, on the third floor uh, in customer service. So, this is the entry lobby, and I think this is kind of cool too, when you have a lot of people in your company. When you arrive, you type in your name and who you're here to see, and you get a little badge, so I'll just put in my name, and I'll put who I'm here to see, and I'll click print. I get this little badge that pops out, and now everyone, because in a company this is this big, there's so many people here, there's so many applicants for jobs here, you, you know, there's 170 people in this building, so you never know who's who or what they're here for. So this little badge will tell people who I am and what I'm here for, and I think that's just smart. If you have, I mean, I know this is not applicable, but I just think it's interesting to look at how a company of this size operates and the systems they have in place to make things like knowing who people are uh, uh, easy for, for everyone here. 
Now we've got our headquarters, and you should brand. You should do some level of branding, right? So like, uh, I've got a, um, you know, I've got branding for Blue Ribbon E-Commerce High Performance Mastermind and Smart Marketer. I have all that kind of branding in my workspace, and you'll notice they have also branded their welcome desk. So it's important to to brand your workspace, even if it's just you working there. I think it's a good thing to do, and you'll notice that all big companies do it. Here we are, we're just on the, the back side of that circle I was telling you about. And what we're going to do is we're going to head upstairs. I think the stairwell is right here, and we're going to check out the third floor. So they were, when they started, they were just uh, on this, well they actually had, a, had an office um, down the road, but then they bought this, they, they were growing so fast that they came in and they got this second level. There's an organic market on the first floor, by the way, which is kind of cool, so you can come in, get a green juice, and then head up to work. But they've now got the third floor under development because they're growing so fast that they need more space. And there's a customer service team up there working, and the place is all in, you know, being developed, so let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are on the third floor of the Shopify headquarters. This is where we'll end this tour, and we can see that <laughs> It is fully under construction. Like there are people painting and building and putting up walls, but down here, there are people working. So no space is left unused. Now, it's so fascinating to get a behind the scenes look into a company that's growing this fast, that's working as hard as they are, that's doing as much innovative and cool things as they are. And it was very nice of Shopify to let me come in here and just show you guys behind the scenes of kind of what's going on in their company. They do a really, really good job with a lot of things. And everyone here, the thing that I notice, the thing that I take away, is that all of the employees and all the people who work here are happy. They're smiling, they're joking with one another, they feel like they're part of this team. And that tells me that this company is going to continue to do well because the people here are enjoying themselves. They're going to continue to innovate. And I think they're going to continue to be the leaders in the e-commerce platform space. So thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the Shopify headquarters. Thank you Shopify for having me here to shoot video for your e-commerce university and also to let me shoot a video like this for my blog and, and take, take people through your headquarters here in, in Ottawa. So thank you and I'll talk to you soon.